Hi survivors, it's me Prepper Zan reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not. Um, I want to be careful with my words as always, but especially now with this video because this is a response to Pastor Dowell's um, video in regards to this leadership needing to be expelled. Truly, um, I, I'm not going to say the word, but um, if you guys want to know what I'm speaking of, y'all go back to Pastor Dahl's um, video in regards to what he feels and what he's saying about this leadership. And I, I'm in total agreement with him. If people can't see what this current leadership is doing, they'll never see anything. And I know you guys probably say I talk about this a lot. I think it's important because there's so many people. There's millions of people who don't know because for so long they've been hiding it but as y'all can see since the illness they've been kind of putting it out there <laughs> i mean they really have but now it's more clearer than ever these ugly evil agendas and these people are voted into office allegedly to help people it's supposed to be what they can do for the people but it's not about what they can do for the people it's, it's about what they can do for themselves and what they could do for the people they work for and uh and to bring out these evil agendas and uh global dominance and world and plan the population allegedly now he continues to poke at that man over there that they want to make everybody seem like it's such a bad person but we don't even know what's going on they're saying at that emergency nato meeting the current leader here said that he wants him to be um, out of the G20. And he wants, then threatened and said, if he, that man uses chemical weapons, then they're gonna do this, they're gonna do that. It's as if he wants him to do that so things can happen. Y'all, they won't war, I'm telling y'all that now. Allegedly. That's exactly what's going on because that's gonna further bring more billions and billions of dollars to them it's going to further play out into, into their agenda of global dominance and playing the population, allegedly. And everything else evil they represent. So I'm in total agreement to Pastor Dow as far as his view and what he feels that needs to be done with this administration. Now, there were comments that I did read in that video. And one, is, uh, one person said that the whole root needs to be brought out and um and annihilated and i agree to that was, that person was saying that like our current leaders and the left people and the, and the right some of the right too whoever's down with this they they were saying that they're working for other people who's really calling all the shots but they're just making it orchestrating it through these politicians and that person was saying that that whole the whole route needs to be coming it needs to come up and i agree to that as well it's only gonna get worse y'all so i'm telling you put your seatbelt on and prep and prepare like you never have before there's a popular prepper and i don't like saying his person name but he's my mentor he was the first prepper i ever watched on youtube that that encouraged and inspired me to go buy land and to buy more food and seeds and all the things that God has been so graciously has so graciously allowed me to get in this lifetime but this person is even building an underground bunker preparing for what lies ahead these are serious times that we are living in and you know it's not to feel manga but it's just to spread the truth y'all and sometimes the truth, if it scares you enough for you to go out there and get what you need or to produce what you need or to get your body more in shape and to get it right with God and, uh, you know, become self-reliant, then that's a good feel because that's exactly what happened to me when I was listening to this prepper and he was telling us what was about to come before that illness hit. I had, planned, I had already got everything. So it scared me good enough to get, to get prepared. And I hope you guys are getting prepared because... These are some powerful people that's orchestrating these agendas. And uh, these people got 
unlimited amounts of money. And they making things happen that we would have never saw in our lifetime. We would never thought in our lifetime could even exist. But what I do know, what I do know, that God is all powerful. And with prayer and with belief and, and working towards some things can happen, y'all. Don't stop praying. Don't stop fasting. Don't stop believing. And don't stop taking actions towards making a difference and making things happen. You got to believe in it. Because we keep on sitting idle if we want to and let these people destroy the world that God created us to live in and to do great things in if we want to. All you're going to do is be a complainer, you know, but we all have a responsibility to take action. And that's why I want to reply to Pastor Dahl's um, video that I totally agree that something needs to happen. And I was wondering the same thing. I'm like, how are these people up there in the WH, that house that's opposite of black? Yeah, I know I can't say these things. Letting this go on. How are they allowing it? Even the ones who are not agreeing to it. How are they allowing this? Something needs to happen and something needs to happen fast. You know. But uh, you got, you got to just put your seatbelt on, you know. And uh, prep like you never prepped before. I can tell you that. Now, this is a reply to some of the comments that I've gotten in regards to me traveling back here to Texas and uh, the crops that I that I saw. I spoke to local people right there in Mississippi said those crops been like that since 2020. So I'm telling you, it was about an hour and a half long, probably two hours of open field crops, farmland that I saw that, uh, that was like that. I know it's kind of early for growing and usually that occurs uh, towards next month. On Good Friday, it's Good Friday in April, yeah. But it was just a feeling that I had. I get feelings, and I uh, my feelings never stirred me wrong. It was a bad feeling that I had when I saw those crops, and uh, so when we stopped, I started asking people. They said it's been like that since 2020. So y'all be fooled if y'all want to, thinking it's gonna continue to be fooled out here if you want to. <laughs> you're foolish if you're thinking that. Very, very foolish. Keep thinking that it's going to be the same way that it's been for us for a long time. You're only fooling yourself. Please follow me on my other platforms. Um, follow me on Patreon for raw, uncut, filtered, unfiltered content and for survivalism classes every week. Uh, if you're looking for survivalism gear, there's some on my website. Radiation suits, potassium iodide tablets, gas filters, and more. If you're looking for bug eye locations in Texas and in Virginia, we can assist you with that. If you're looking for land anywhere in America, we can assist you with that. If you're looking to buy land in Texas and Virginia, we can assist you with that. You guys, please watch this world. Watch the weather. Smell your water. Purify your water before you use it and keep surviving.